Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody has been asking me how to do a lake map like this of one of the Great Lakes and multiple layers. And there's a lot of money out there on the internet that you can get done. And if you're a laser engraver, you always want challenge. And this is going to be a really in-depth, uh, multi-part, multi-video and I'm not 100% sure I can do it. But I found a map, and I just typed in, you know, uh, this lake and uh, uh, to topographical and, you know, and, and searched, and I found, you know, a bunch of different maps, you know, that uh, here's, here's one that this company does do, and they are pretty cool. Uh, I just don't know how many layers you know, you can get inside of a frame. You'd have to have a really specialized frame. But all I did was take that map, and I think this is the one I used, and I just right-clicked the mouse and copied it, and then I brought it into Corel Draw. Now, this is basically a picture of a map that somebody evidently did because uh, it's got a frame around it. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go to bitmap and we're going to resample it. And it was at 72, I've already put it to 300, I didn't back up far enough. And then you're going to go to bitmap and you're going to have to try a couple of different color schemes. Black and white doesn't work, RGB doesn't really work, so I tried CMYK and it worked pretty much the best. And then you're going to go and trace bitmap and outline trace. And I, this time I use line art. So if you don't have any reason to build a map like this, you might want to just stop watching now. Um, I'm not 100% sure I can do it, but I did a little test and I got, I got a little ways. And after this um, gets through tracing, I'm going to stop the video and start a second video uh, just so they won't be so long and in-depth. This is going to take several videos. So I'm going to press OK and I've got my new map. So I'm going to take the old map and I'm going to put it on to the side. I'm going to put this in the center of the page just because that's where I like working. And when I first saw it, I was pretty impressed and I thought this is going to work. So. If you're interested in doing a map that has multiple layers like this, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Hope this helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.